Are you a content creator looking for effects to bring your videos to a whole new level? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. What is poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 18 tutorial. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to use and how to edit as well. What is poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to edit B-Raw footage shot from a black magic camera in Vegas Pro 18, because if you drag in the clip, nothing will happen because of course, Vegas Pro doesn't even support black magic yet. Maybe that will come in Vegas Pro 19, but I actually found a really, really simple solution to kind of bypass, you know, that Vegas Pro doesn't have a codec by just converting it to MP4 and don't lose any quality. So if you guys are excited that you can finally start editing black magic footage in vegas protein <laughs> vegas protein yeah let's get a fucking protein shake so if you guys are excited that you can now finally edit B-Raw, because that's actually the format that Blackmagic shoots in in Vegas Pro 18, make sure to hit the like button down below, subscribe if you're here for the very first time watching, and I would say let's get started editing B-Raw footage right after the intro. All right, guys, so as you can see right now, we are in Vegas Pro 18. So today's video is actually about also importing the files, but not losing quality as well, because that's really, really important with like 4K footage or files that are like three gigabytes long and 1080p and, you know, 60 FPS, the whole thing. Let's go ahead and first see what happens if we drag in just a B-Raw file right into a project because as you can see right here on the folder it says a002 and then like the date and then we have the dot b raw which basically says the type is a black magic raw clip so if i go ahead and drag that into my timeline to edit it we only have audio for one weird reason as you can see we don't have any visuals and we don't have anything in the preview and i think like i said in the previous video that might have to do with something like that vegas or magic doesn't have like a codec that vegas cannot read like this this black magic format because i don't have like a license or anything My be a little bit expensive but who knows but maybe in like vegas pro 19 they might take care of it who knows also feel free to tweet this video to magics the official vegas you know twitter maybe that brings up an idea of also get that sorted in vegas pro 19 all right so for now what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete this audio i'm going to also delete this clip from my entire project i'm going to leave a link down in the description that will bring you basically to this website which is actually a avd share video converter it's actually pretty pretty affordable it's a lifetime access for only $39.99 so if you want to actually pick it up and invest it in it you can actually do that but I'm just going to do it in the trailer because I didn't pick it up yet because I don't really use black magic footage that often and if that's in your case as well if you're going to only use it like once every now and then because let's say that black magic is not your primary camera I wouldn't really buy it I would just use the trial for that because let's say that you spend $40 and you only use it once and never again that's kind of a waste of money of course but if you're going to use this like consistently you know I would actually recommend getting this lifetime access or even this monthly month subscription or a year it's actually pretty affordable it's not like a 150 bucks software that you will only use once for example so what i did is i just also left a link in the description so right when this video is done make sure to pick that up this is not sponsored at all because i'm just using the trial so this is what you will see right here so the cool thing is that we can just go ahead and drag this footage right into our folder which i'm going to do right now which says b-raw i'm going to drag that into the program it's loaded in so right here it's very important that for the pro file we're going to pick hd mpeg4 video.mp4 you can find that under the hd video tab if you scroll down a little bit where you see hd mpeg4 video.mp4 of course you can also choose a location where you want to save this one i actually did a test before this video of course make sure it works so i save that to my desktop but i actually want to save that in this quiet folder as well so i'm just going to hit browse and i'm going to pick the proper destination folder all right so right now it is on the proper hard drive folder so now i'm going to just hit the software and of course, it's giving you this prompt like you're using a trial version with the following limitations. The maximum five minutes conversions of more than five minute file with a less than 
than five minute file, you could only convert half of it. So you want to actually do like multiple files and multiple takes, of course, or you can just buy the software that also supports the developers. So right now I'm just going to hit remind later. It started and it is now converting this format into MP4, which allows us to drag it into MP4. I thought it was a really, really good idea because of course, if you're going to use this and if you, for example, have a Blackmagic camera and you don't use Premiere Pro, which can read, you know, Blackmagic footage right away or After Effects. If you're just a Vegas user, this is a really, really cool way to actually kind of bypass the missing code. So it's actually really, really handy. And right now it is converting right here. As you can see in the folder, it has the same name, but then it ends on MP4. I'm going to wait a couple more seconds until this is done. And then I'm just going to show you that you can just open this in Vegas Pro without losing any quality. All right, so now the file is done. It says A002 underscore and then the date and then like the C065 with like the MP4 file. And it also it's actually a lot, a lot smaller than the original size, which is 3.1 gigabytes. This one is only 152 megabytes. That's because also we converted just a tiny bit of it. That's just kind of like the watermark thing from the software. But I think in my opinion, that's better than having an actual watermark on your screen because that might actually end up making your footage look like it's not even usable with a watermark so you can just convert like multiple videos in multiple times. All right, so if I double click on it, as you can see, it just opens up straight away. This is actually a, from a photo shoot from yesterday. So if I just close this out for a second and if I go back to Vegas and if I drag in the file that we just converted, which is right here, if I drag that on into my timeline, as you can see right now we have like the full quality in or preview and that's basically how simple it is. This is how you convert B-RAW footage to MP4 in Vegas Pro while well, in that software actually in order to use it in Vegas Pro, it's really, really simple. Of course, there's not even like a straight way in order to insert the actual B-Raw files in Vegas Pro without converting it to, for example, like MP4. But that's basically the way we have to do it right now. Maybe like I've mentioned in Vegas Pro 19, that could be the actual solution. I think that's going to be probably be for next year, halfway through that Vegas Pro 19 might release that we have this codec in it, but that's just something Vegas and Magix have to you know take care of. That's how simple it is, guys. You don't lose any quality. Don't worry because it's a little bit blurry right here. Here because the camera was not focused but in the end as you can see it just goes nice and sharp so guys i hope this video was helpful to you this is how you can actually start editing your b-roll clips in vegas pro and of course you can try other video converters that you might already have or that are free in order to convert it as long as you can convert it to hd mpeg 4 instead of like avi or something like that you can actually use any converter and just see if it works and that's how to do it this is how to use b-roll clips from a black magic camera in Vegas Pro 18. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. Now you guys know, and how, now you can guys also finally edit your videos with a Blackmagic camera into a Vegas Pro. So until this moment that Vegas Pro still cannot support it, we have to wait for Vegas Pro 19 to come out. Maybe that will actually come, and there will be a codec, so Vegas Pro can actually read the Blackmagic format. So if you guys find this video helpful, make sure to reward it with a like down below, and let me know down in the comments what camera you guys are actually using. Are you using a Blackmagic camera or any other DSLR camera. I'm really curious about your guys' equipment and I'll see you guys, obviously, in the next video.